We spend $4 billion every month on a war in Afghanistan that hasn't made us any safer. The reality is these, these wars are costing us, the taxpayers, trillions of dollars, dollars that should be here. In Afghanistan right now, we're spending $4 billion of your taxpayer dollars every month. Right now, our country is spending $4 billion every month in Afghanistan. $4 billion every month. But as we stand here today, our leaders waste trillions of dollars on the new Cold War and wasteful regime change wars that have not made us any safer. Right now, we are wasting $4 billion every month on a war in Afghanistan alone. That right now, today, we spend $4 billion every month in Afghanistan. $4 billion. Every month. Every single month. The reality is these, these wars are costing us, the taxpayers, trillions of dollars, dollars that should be here, that should remain in our pockets, are invested in things like uh, rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, exactly. invested in the needs of our people. I'll take the trillions of dollars, your hard-earned taxpayer dollars that have been and will continue to be wasted on these programs and instead invest them in serving the needs of the American people. Things like quality health care for all, truly sustainable agriculture, affordable housing, clean water, clean air, rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, improving education, and so much more. This money could be used here. When you see how many sick people who are uninsured or underinsured or aren't able to get the care they need. You see how many teachers are on strike in different communities across the country because they're getting paid pennies. Imagine what could be done with those dollars and those resources in communities like Baltimore, in communities like Flint, Michigan, where people are still being poisoned by their water, where they're being lied to and cheated by their leadership, where the governor sent in these inspectors and cleared the water saying, hey, everything's fine. What he didn't tell people was that when those inspectors went in, they turned the faucet and let the water run for five minutes before they tested it to clean all the crap out of the pipes and create this false conclusion that somehow the water is clean when the people who live there know that it is still not safe to drink. And for some folks, they can't even take a shower in their own homes. As president, I will end this insanity, where instead of wasting trillions of dollars on death and destruction, I will turn our precious dollars towards the cause of life and renewal here at home. As your president and commander in chief, I will end these wasteful regime change wars. to be serving our people, serving our communities, rather than spending them on these wars and weapons that only make us less safe and that cost us so dearly.